Chris BBI here. I want to stop and say thanks. Thanks for tuning in and checking out whatever the video is about that's about ready to come up next. If you could take a minute and hit subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here, make sure to hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Anyhow, guys, all that aside, let's get on with the show. This is cool. I, I remember building this, I can't remember how long ago it was, but it was a while back. Um, the guy said he bought this off of eBay. I can't remember the whole story behind this thing. It's been so long, so many boxes ago. But I built this, and to guys that say clearing your boxes isn't worth it, this is like a three or four year old amplifier and it looks like it's brand new. I simply got out my air compressor and blew it out because it was full of dust. But it is clean and pristine just the way it was when it left here. I dig it. Um, I don't remember doing this though. This is not my style. I'll have to go back and see if I can find a video and watch it if this is the same. but. I do remember doing this racetrack. I was really proud of this. This was really just for show. I summed all the power supplies together. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, gotta tighten that one up. Three, four, five. It's enough to do it. 60, 120. It's enough to do this. A little two by eight. God, I built this a million years ago. And it's back because the relay's sticking. Now, I see no relay stickage. It's making 2,000 ish watts. I'm only putting 20 watts of drive, or not even 20 watts of drive into it. Input tune's good. Variables work in. Sideband delay is working. But he says it's here because the relay is sticking. So, me being me, we're going to err on the side of caution. We're going to replace the key in circuit. We're going to pull the, the relay out. We're going to clean it. Um, probably end up replacing it, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we get the relay apart. This thing's working. Working, working, working. I remember building this, but I don't remember who it was for. I remember Brian Smith was involved with this one, Mr. Truck's CB Sales. Yeah. This is several, 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 several years ago. Hmm. Well, there's nothing I gotta upgrade. Let's just make sure his relay doesn't stick. Okay, so here's the old relay. Even though I couldn't find anything wrong with it, I went ahead and I just figured we'll replace it. The old keying circuit went ahead and replaced it, even though we couldn't find anything wrong with it. Um, this box is technically correct. 2950 hitting it. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two. It's working. I put the lid on it. Yeah, let's put the lid on it. Just the way I remember. Well, this old girl, she'd been around two by eight, two 1446s. Down in there driving eight Toshiba 2879s. Back where she was born. Man, please use this in good health. Love this box. It's been around for a long, long time. It was made with love, and I pray that you want to maintain it and continue loving on it. And after talking with you on the phone, I know that this is in the right place. So, 
All right, guys, I got to go. Can circuit issue fixed, addressed as best as I can, mm -hmm. and tested as best as I can here. I appreciate everybody's support. I'm going to run on to the next project. I got a ton of stuff on my plate today, so this is one of about 15 things I need to get done. So, gentlemen, on that note, I say bump bump from the biggest dock in Idaho. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the Vajayo. I'll see ya.